season so we can get ready for the regular season, right? Yeah! To show that we're ready? Yeah! To show we can do this? Yeah! So let's hit him with a little preseason LFR. Play the intro. Preseason LFR. Do 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 do. You had one job. The budget's lower in the preseason. I did the best I could. Shut up! If you've been watching my videos for a long time, you know I never do preseason LFR videos, but right now I am. Don't expect it for every preseason game. I just happen to go to this game. And for the first time ever in an LFR video, Leafs win twice! 4-1 in the Air Canada Center over the Ottawa Senators, and 4-3 in overtime in Ottawa's own barn. Somewhat ironic because if you've ever been to a Senators game in Ottawa, you know that their arena is next to a literal barn. Well, let's talk about the game at the Air Canada Center first because that's the one I was there for. And it was extra special for me because I got to go to the game with my buddy Clark from Aberdeen, Scotland, his first time ever visiting Canada and his first ever hockey game. And he asked me, he's like, here, just go ahead and explain everything. He said it with a Scottish accent. I can't do one. But that's very dangerous when you give me permission to talk. It's like inviting a vampire into your house. Excuse me, Steve, how does this hockey thing work? <laughs> Well, you see, what happened there was icing. And what a game to go to. Because before the game, he's like, are the leaves good? And I'm like, um, uh, you see the new Jumbotron? That's pretty little, oh, it's so big. Speaking of the Jumbotron, they put Mike Babcock on it and standing ovation, just fans going nuts for the new coach. Now, for the game. So it's a preseason game, split squad. Some of the Leafs are in Ottawa, some of the Leafs are at the ACC, but you're looking for the same thing out of both games. You just want to be impressed. You want to be impressed by the rookies. You want to be impressed by the guys trying out for the team. Team. And as for the vets, you just want them to look like vets. Like in a preseason game, especially a split squad game, if you've played in the NHL for several years, you should stand above your competition. One of those guys, and oh, I'm excited, P.A. Parenteau, scored twice in this game, and the first one was an absolute firecracker, both on the power play, I believe. Could have called him P.A. Parenteau Vetchkin. That's a guy who's looking to make some money back after a bad season with Montreal last year. I mean, bad season where he really wasn't given any chance. And if the first preseason game was any indicator, and it was great to see Nick Spalling bury one too to make it 2 nothing for the Leafs. I had a chance to talk to Spalling at Leafs Media Day and he seemed so genuinely thrilled to be a Leaf. And there's all this talk about guys just signing one year contracts and just to be traded out of town and guys that are already here are going to be traded out of town. It's nice to see someone who wants to be here. That whole line had a hell of a game, didn't they? Spalling, Parento, and Winnick. Now what's funny is the Leafs played such a good game. They outshot the Senators. They obviously outscored them, Bernier looked good in net, but my leaf eyes from last season are trained to look for what's bad. And some players, I gotta say, kind of disappointed me. Like I said earlier, how if you're an NHL vet, you should be standing above the competition in a split squad preseason game. Yeah, Roman Polak just did not. Slow, getting beat, tough. You know, I, I can never fault Roman Polak for not being tough. He stuck up for teammates twice, once with an actual fight that led to a game misconduct. And he works hard, good teammate, didn't look good. Michael Grabner was hilarious. He didn't look bad, but all New York Islanders fans were tweeting was, oh yeah, he's going to get a dozen breakaways a game and he's going to miss on all of them. What does he do? Gets a breakaway with amazing speed? Eh, can't do it. I mean, I know you got to make these decisions so quickly, but Grabner might actually benefit from slowing down. Because he's so fast, he can just burn his opponents in the first few strides and maybe slam on the brakes a little bit right before you get to the net so you have a little more time to do whatever your thing is, says the guy who skates like Bambi. JVR looked good, especially in the offensive zone. Wasn't that impressed with Tyler Bozak, but he did alright. And Connor Brown, no pressure, you had to fill Phil Kessel's spot. And he had a great scoring chance, he just got completely robbed by Andrew Hammond. The Ham Boygla! And last but not least, when it comes to negatives, the rookies really got to impress to make the team. The guys who are on a tryout probably have a bit of an advantage because of NHL experience. But Devin Setaguchi did not look good. Just looked kind of lost on a line that had the potential to be really good. Grabner and Nylander with Setaguchi. But again, first preseason game, give him the benefit of the doubt. I don't think he's ever played with Grabner. He's definitely never played with Nylander. Maybe next game will be a little better. He was always involved. He just never looked like an actual threat. The one goal Toronto allowed was just an incredible shot by Mike Hoffman. So I'm not going to criticize him for that. Bernie is supposed to be the Leaf starter. And the last thing you want is for your starter to get shelled in a preseason game. Toskala. But just when it looked like the Senators might crawl back into the game, Stuart Percy, big shot, and that goes in 4-1. So good to see Percy score a goal because he had so much promise at the beginning of last season, and then injuries and Leafs mismanagement. Kyle Dubas actually saying that they mismanaged Stuart Percy last season. 
It's just good to see him get a good start. And good to see fans of the Air Canada Centre for once with smiles on their faces, including my Scottish friend. Now the second game in Ottawa, I obviously didn't get to see, but I saw some highlights. Really good to see Dion get on the board because, well, he's still a Leaf. And Mike Babcock is apparently excited to have him, so, you know. Do your thing, buddy. And speaking of still a Leaf, Joffrey Lupul with a couple goals, including the overtime winner. Preseason's hilarious, because he scored the winner and Lupul didn't even look happy. Just like, yeah, whatever, didn't even count. But you got Nazem Kadri right beside him going like, yeah, come on, man. We didn't get to do this a lot last season. Come on, celebrate, woo. One guy who didn't look great, and again, this is just from the highlights, obviously, Reimer. Again, not the end of the world, but you would expect your NHL level goalie to do very well in the preseason. Then again, I mean, it's not like he was getting scored on by scrubs. It was Eric Carlson. Kind of won the Norris. And of course, Garrett Sparks only stopping eight shots, but he only faced eight shots, so that's 100% math. If you're a Leaf fan, you better cheer for Garrett Sparks because Chris Gibson was supposed to be the Marley starter with Antoine Bibo probably backing him up. Garrett Sparks maybe starting with the Orlando Solar Bears. Now Bebo and Sparks are what's behind Bernier and Reimer. And you may be going, so what? But a little ding to the head, a little groin tear, and all of a sudden, that's your tandem. But they're capable, they got a lot of potential, I like those guys, good to see them play well. So, what did you think? Who impressed you the most? Who didn't impress you? And what do you think the big storylines are going to be for the rest of the preseason? My one to follow, especially after watching his setup of Parento's second goal, William Nylander is going to make it so hard for Leaf management to cut him. Like, it's one thing if Nylander plays well enough to crack the team, but they want to develop him more so they can send him to the minors. That's one thing. It's a whole other ball game if he just makes them look completely silly if they cut him. Because you want to see guys who belong, like Parento looked like he belonged, Nylander looks like he belongs. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching this special preseason edition of LFR. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends and preseason. Yay.